Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Wait, what? I am speechless. Do you really want to drink that? Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, ladies and gentlemen, we've oh, got stickin'. No. Hi, I'm Kate in the Good Housekeeping Test Kitchen, and I'm sitting here with <laughs> Becca Miller, and we are gonna watch some food hacks and tips and figure out whether or not you should be using them in your house. Oh. I, hmm. why would you put salt in milk? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> um, I think oftentimes people put salt in spoiled milk, thinking that it will like revive it in some way. I say if you have spoiled milk, throw it out. Yeah, uh, we're just not buy in, like, new the dark milk. Ages. You know, people are always sticking spoiled milk. Here, smell this. This is spoiled. Whenever somebody says that to me, I'm like, nope, no. I'm good. So the idea is putting salt in spoiled milk. I would rather not, personally. I would rather pass. Whether it works or not, do you really want to drink that? Salty, spoiled milk? Gross. <laughs> so, if you need really, really crazy thin slices of tomato, use a fork to get even spacing. Um, I'm gonna say no, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that. I don't know, maybe for an egg, I, but I, Maybe you'd put a fork in an egg and then. No, I wouldn't. I, I mean, I would never do that. Never ever. What do you think about egg slicers? That feels fine. An egg slicer feels fine. All right. Invest Ditch in an egg fork, slicer. Egg slicer. Use a power drill to peel apples. No. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> hmm. Huh. I'm going to say. Maybe for a crap ton of apples, this could work and it could be just fun and kitschy when people are over, but otherwise, I don't use your drill to peel your apples. I worry that you just have apple everywhere. Yeah. Just like throw it I around feel your like... kitchen. <laughs> wait, wait, you still need a peeler. Why? What's the point? Okay. It, okay, that's super fast. Granted, it's super, <laughs> okay. super fast. However, I don't know. Uh... I guess if you're making apple pie and you need like tons of apples, but at that point, just give yourself an extra 10 minutes of prep. Um, yeah, I, like I could, I'd be interested in trying it to see how it works. I mean, it seems kind of fun. I'll hold the drill, you hold the peeler. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe? No. Consider it. Just think about I'll it. I'll think about okay. it. Okay. I, I, I feel oh. weird about having it up in the air. I feel nervous about this. Okay. <laughs> okay, you ready? I'm ready. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, let's go. Are you on. sure? I think you have to start over there. You want me to start over here? We're over it here. Just, I'm a lefty. Okay, important. start over there. Okay. There we go. You ready? Ready. So as you go, I think you're gonna have to go Move like that. Move down. Yeah. Okay. Got Good it. Chat. Here Great. we go. Same Are you guys at home ready? <laughs> <laughs> this is wild. Okay, switch it up. I've <laughs> been demoted. <laughs> All right. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> Sad. I think it'd be faster for me to just peel it. Like Yeah, it's, it's not really a speedy so hack. Yeah. I think by the time Becca gets that drill bit out, <laughs> go. I'm going to have this apple peeled. <laughs> She won't even see the, oh, 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 oh. oh. The idea of putting cheese into salt water makes total sense to me. Because oh, fresh mozzarella already comes packaged in salty water. That makes complete sense. For softer cheeses, definitely you don't know how far the mold goes in. For harder cheeses like cheddar or um, pecorino, you can cut off part of the, the visible mold and it, because it's so dense, it doesn't go quite as far. For soft cheeses, you want to be very careful. If it's moldy, 
on the outside, chances are good that the mold has penetrated in. So for a soft cheese like mozzarella, if it's moldy, just throw it out. Toss it out. Instead oh. of washing my hands, I'm going <laughs> to wipe them your... off. <laughs> I'm going to wipe my fish all over my sink. So now my hands maybe don't smell, but well, you've got my this faucet fishy smells oil. disgusting. Personally, would wash my hands first <laughs> before touching my faucet. Wait, you don't want raw salmon juice all over your faucet? Yeah. I'm gonna say don't do that. I mean, <laughs> maybe people sell um, like small little stainless steel uh, bars. Bars, use that. Don't rub your filthy, stinky, fishy hands on your sink. Don't do that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Throw it in a ball jar that you don't care about getting super stinky and shake it until they peel. I mean, that could work. So I've actually done this before. You have? Except not in a mason jar. You put them in two metal bowls together, shake it like a maraca. Yeah. It actually works really well. It makes a huge racket, doesn't it? Oh, you can't it's do. so loud. The key is you need a lot of cloves of garlic, though. If you just put one in there, yeah. it's not going to do the trick. They need to bump against each other. So the more, the better. Mm-hmm. I would I would definitely try it in a mason jar. Let's I see. mean, yeah, let's try it. Okay. Let's All crack right. those bad boys open. We can even use. Uh-huh. I was just going to use brute strength, but apparently <laughs> I don't have enough brute strength to do that. So This actually isn't that easy. No. <laughs> there we go. Let's, let's put them in, them in. All those extra meals. All right. I can smell you. Like yeah. that? I think there's, there's a, something. There's like a hard shake. I know. We need a bartender up in here. <laughs> There's a certain point where I would stop. Like, I think I might I, stop. I might now. actually give up. <laughs> I mean, well, we've I'm exhausted. Here. I think we should just stop. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. Nope. Eh, maybe. Just want to pour out the rest? I'd say maybe a third of them were peeled. This feels like you have to do extra work. Yeah. You still have to peel them after you put them in the jar. Yeah. And those ones that weren't separated are still... Yeah. Nah. Oh, well. That didn't seem like a win. Oh, this just makes me sad. <laughs> <laughs> Drews are keepers. Poor cookie. Uh, okay, this actually isn't bad. So if something's burnt, I often do it with cakes. I actually, instead of a box grater, take a microplane and you can just scrape off the burnt part. Oh, use a box grater. I was thinking a microplane, so you had more control over it. I mean, a cookie, I sort of feel like if you have an, another, like, 20 cookies, just throw the cookie out. Or, like, eat the top of it. We it like out. an underbaked cookie. We do. In a good housekeeping test kitchen, underbaked. Yeah. I have actually done that with toast. It but it actually well. works? It definitely works. Gets all that gross black burnt part off. And right. Then and then you can eat your go. cookie. That's going in the toaster. No. Hmm. I guess maybe if you're in a hotel room and happen to have foil. <laughs> have a hankering <laughs> for grilled cheese. Have all the grilled cheese ingredients plus foil. But no hot pan. <laughs> yeah, you never know. <laughs> Must have grilled cheese. I'm interested to see if the cheese actually melts in there. Um, we should try it. Sure. Not with my iron. We're here. We're here to, <laughs> to iron some grilled cheese. Becca, if you could line me up with some uh, cheese, maybe two slices. Nothing better. <laughs> it's not, not super hot, but maybe we'll start here. I mean, part of me feels like if we don't have to worry about the iron, I would, I'm gonna open this and then I wanna just like iron right on the sandwich. What do we what? think? 
Unless you have an iron that you don't care about, I would not recommend just taking your iron to the sandwich, but maybe we'll kind of just do it. Everybody ready at home. <laughs> you heard that, right? We're going to oh, do what firefighters say not to do, which is to leave an, an iron directly on whatever it is. <clears throat> it's pressing, the weight is pressing. I hear the bubbling butter under there. Ladies and gentlemen, we've oh, got stickage. Oh no. It was it's it's a little crispier brown. than before. We have an amazing cheese bubble. Yikes. We didn't shoot out who was coming. Yeah, I was about to say, do I have to clean the iron? The iron. Um, so um. I'm gonna say it was fun, but there's no reason for it. Yeah. Yeah. But we do have, check this out. Check that out. Mm. Yeah. Like us, subscribe to us. Um, tell us if you did any of these at home and whether or not they were fails or just as brilliant as they were here. Um, and come back and check us out again. Happy cooking.